June is, of course, Pride Month, a good time to look at the state of political representation for America's diverse LGBTQ community by the numbers. 104, that's at least how many LGBTQ candidates have launched campaigns for Congress this year, according to Axios, and that is a record, and a nearly 20% increase compared to 2020, when 87 LGBTQ candidates ran for the House or Senate. As of last week, 57 of those congressional LGBTQ candidates were still actively running, according to the data the Victory Fund provided to Axios. Still, there are only 11 open LGBTQ lawmakers currently serving in Congress. LGBTQ candidates have been pushing for decades for more political representation. 1974, that's the year 21-year-old Kathy Kozachenko won a city council race in Ann Arbor, Michigan to become the first openly gay or lesbian candidate to ever win elected office in the U.S. In 1977, she was followed by fellow trailblazer Harvey Milk, who won a seat on San Francisco's Board of Supervisors. Many LGBTQ candidates say political representation is even more important amid a national backlash against the LGBTQ community in recent months. 300 anti-LGBTQ bills have been proposed in at least 28 states this year, many of them targeting trans youth and parents seeking medical care for their trans children. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.